Hello, lovely crafters. Welcome back. Today I have a much overdue um, project for you to do. You can craft it along with me. I used one file folder, maybe a few pieces of cardstock if we need it. Um, and I'm using some Tim Holtz paper. You can use whatever paper you like. And uh, let me set these off to the side and I'll show you what this little thing is. I'm gonna call it an ephemera folio. I've got a little bird stamp there. I've been working on my wax seals. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> okay, so open it up. We've got a little pocket here on the top and there is a pocket here and this one I did glue. It was one big pocket but I put some glue down the middle of it um, so that way things would fit a little tighter in there and then that drops down. We have another little side pocket. So we have our side pocket here and our side pocket up there. And then the flaps come out. And we have a pocket here. Cute little labels from the Graphics Fairy. And that's also from the Graphics Fairy. And then all the paper is all from Tim Holtz um, paper pad called Wallflowers. Okay, so we have those pockets. And then, like I said, we have these pockets here in the front. And then if you wanted to keep things loose in there, you could even you could even just have things loose. See, there's room. Okay, and then on the back, we have another pocket here on the back. So super cute little folio. These would be great for sending out like happy mail um, or just doing a little swap with somebody. Okay, all right, so you ready to get started? Okay. We just need our one file folder, <clears throat> and I will keep this one, I'm going to put all these little cards in one spot, but I'm going to keep this one handy. And then I also have one I've marked out, <laughs> I'm going to show you just because it's kind of, ah, I have measurements marked out on this, so I will keep that handy for me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is I chose a file folder that had the center tab um, because I liked the look of when it was folded that there was this extra tab down here. You can use whichever kind of file folder you want. I'm going to um, duplicate the process by using a center tab. <clears throat> so we're going to keep this tab, this side intact and this side down here I am going to cut off to four and a half. may need to move you up. All right, and I am cutting at four and a half. So I'm going to want to put my center crease at four and a half. And then, sorry, make sure that I'm good and straight. Sometimes file folders are not exactly straight. Okay. So don't throw this piece away, we're gonna use it. Okay, so we have four and a half. Okay, let me find my pencil. Here we go. And I grab my ruler that seems to have walked off. There we go. And now we are going to measure in two and a half inches. Okay, so we're gonna go from this edge two and a half inches in. One, two and a half. One, two and a half, okay. Draw that line down, okay. And now this is going to be gone. We're getting rid of that. Okay. So essentially, I'm going to show you what we're doing here, so you get an idea. Okay. Essentially, we're getting rid of this, and this, this, and this. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. One, two, and a half. One, two, and a half. Okay. 
and this is the part we're getting rid of okay and let's see let's go ahead and cut those out I'm just going to use my scissors that's easier for me you could use a craft knife and ruler if you wanted to and if you're real good with your paper trimmer you could do that but And I'm just trimming right down that factory fold on the file folder, right where the original fold is, okay? Well, let's cut the other side. Okay. And for now, don't throw these away. I don't think we'll need them, but I just keep all my scraps until the end. Okay, now what's on, next on my directions here? Okay, measure up four and three quarter inch. Okay, so what we're doing, let me bring this back over here, is we are going to be um, measuring up for our first fold, okay? four and three quarter inches. I'll even write that down here. Okay, that's four and three quarter inches up from our original crease. Okay, and this section here that we took out was um, two and a half inches. Okay, two and a half. I don't know if you can see that. Two and a half, and we're going to go up four and three quarter. One, two, three, four, and three quarter. I'm gonna do it here as well. And then I'll just connect the dots. One, two, three, four, and three quarter. Okay, we're gonna be scoring on that line, okay? You don't have to draw yours, okay? But I want to draw mine just so you can see it. And then I'm also going to need to score another quarter inch. And that is for this little this little spine here. See how I've, I have these little, I guess, spines is what I'm gonna call them for lack of a better word, okay? So that way when it's all folded up, I have some thickness to it, a quarter inch all the way around, okay? So I need to go up another quarter inch, so that's going to be five inches now from our original fold. So I'm going to score there and score here. Okay, now I could get out my scoring board, um, but I'm not going to because it's big and bulking takes up room. Um, this works great if you have a hard plastic ruler or a metal ruler. You can just put it on your line. Okay. And this one also needs folded. So like I said, you can do this on your scoreboard if you want to. I'm not going to drag mine out. And like I said, you don't even have to draw the lines. You could just make the marks and hold the ruler against the marks. That way you don't have the lines on there. I'm not too worried about it. This is just for tutorial purposes anyway. Okay, so now we've got our top spine, this part. Okay. All right. Now <clears throat> we need to measure two and a half inches in over here on the top, just like we did down here at the bottom, okay? One, two, and a half. Two and a half. Okay, I'm gonna be getting rid of that part. And coming in again, two and a half inches from the side. One, two and a half. One, two 
and a half. Okay, and we're going to be cutting that off. And I'm going to cut this off off camera. Okay, so I'm just cutting to the the um, uh, this first fold, this one right here. In fact, we don't need this either. Okay, that spine area. We only need the main the main section there. Okay, so when you're cutting off your two and a half inch block, make sure to get rid of that little section too. Okay. Okay. All right. So you should be just up to where your four and three quarter line was, the first line that we made, your four and three quarter line right here. It's the first one we made. Okay. And then that was your five inch line, the other one that we made. Okay. Get rid of the stuff in the middle. Okay. All right. I'm going to cut that off. Be right back. Okay. So I've got those cut off. Okay. And then now we're going to make these little side flaps right here, the ones that fold in, okay? That's really easy because all we're going to do is, let me use this ruler, we're going to hold our ruler down, even on this side and even down here on this side. Again, you could use your scoreboard if you wanted. Okay, so I'm holding it nice and flush on this side, nice and flush down here. Okay. All right, let's flip it over and do the same. Just holding it in place. Now we have our two flaps, okay, <clears throat> and then I need this flap down here. I need to put in this portion, okay. So remember up here at the top, we have our, our, our boxy section like that. We need one down here at the bottom, okay. So I'm going to measure down a quarter of an inch. And it just so happens that on my file folder, it is on, there's these little factory lines there. I don't know if you can see that. On traditional American file folders, we have those little expansion lines down there. And it just so happens that they are a quarter of an inch. bottom has that and our top okay now we need that done on the sides as well so we need a quarter of an inch over here. Okay. So now I've got it on that side and I have it on that side. And when it folds up, everything tucks in nicely. Okay. Now, notice how our side flaps go all the way up to the top of there. And it kind of creates a little bit of a pinch point when this folds down. So we're going to taper these flaps. And I am going to draw my score lines on here so they're easier for you guys to see. Um, and then you'll know where I'm, where I'm working at. That's 
about where it is. Okay, there I put my score lines in there for you so you can see. Okay, now I want to taper these just a tad. And I like things to look nice and uniform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in a half an inch on each side of the end of my tab. So I'm just coming in a half an inch, putting a little tiny mark, and I'm going to come in a half an inch from this side, this way, a half an inch, and put a little tiny mark, okay? Uh, can you see those? There's a little mark right there, a little mark right there, okay? And then I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going from this bottom score line right here, okay? not the corner, I'm not going to the corner, I'm going to this bottom score line right there and I'm going to draw a line from here to my little dot I put in at a half an inch. There's one side and the other. Okay, so my line went to the bottom score line there not to the corner and then I'm going to trim these off. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side, and I'm going to trim both those pieces off, okay? Okay, so I've tapered my side tabs, okay? So that gives me a little more room for when this folds, okay? The top and the bottom, but yet everything still meets up like it needs to, okay? All right. The last thing we're going to do for the main construction part is go ahead and round these corners on the top flap and this bottom flap. Okay, so that is it for the main construction. Okay, so at this point I'm, I am going to go ahead and stop the video and I will do the decorating in the next video. That way if you don't need to see that part then uh, you don't have to watch the next video. But that is the main construction of it. Um, so after this, I just, I add pockets and paper, okay? But this is our, this is our main, main body for that little ephemera folio, okay? So thanks for joining me today. Um, very much appreciate all the support you guys have been giving to me and the crafters that I've been featuring lately. Keep up the good work, guys. I'll see you in the next video, though. Be well. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.